Welcome my fellow citizens. Nvidia yesterday announced on CES 2026 new Nvidia DLSS 4.5 and the best thing is you can immediately use it. Today it is available. Now I'm going to show you how to install this and use it immediately in Star Citizen and any other game. So there are two versions of DLSS 4.5 super resolution. There is Model M and Model L. Model M is optimized and recommended for DLSS super resolution which we are going to use for Star Citizen because it is working better than DLSS. I know it sounds crazy but Star Citizen is not optimized and when you use the DLSS the load from the processor will be turned over to the graphics card therefore giving you better image quality and better FPS. And the Model L is of course DLSS Super Resolution Ultra Performance Mode. There is also new frame generation, there will be the Namic one and the 6x1. This one will be only available on 50 series but DLSS 4.5 is from now on available on any RTX card. So this is really really nice. So what you have to do is just this. Install NVIDIA app if you already don't own one. Go to the drivers and here check for updates. Install this 59.74, those are the latest. Now your NVIDIA app will still not be updated. So go to the settings and then go to the about. And here opt in access beta, click in. Wait a little bit, close the app. Reopen the app and you will have the prompt here to update it to the latest version. Once you have done that, we are going to go to the graphics. In the graphics, Star Citizen for you may be grayed out. It will not be like this. So, do not worry, I have two solutions. First solution is, I will link my video down, how to enable this on Star Citizen and many other games that do not support it. The second solution is, go to the global settings. And here, click for the DLSS Override model preset, the latest. That's it, apply it. Then, if you have uh, NVIDIA GeForce 5090 or any 50 series, you can use the frame generation. I am on my laptop, which is 4090, and it doesn't support it. And then here, select DLLA or Quality Balance Performance, Ultra Performance, whatever you like. NVIDIA says that the biggest difference is between performance and ultra performance, giving a maximum good image quality while giving you amazing performance. But in Star Citizen, if you have a little bit better machine, go for the DLLA, I'm telling you it is better than DLSS quality. So apply this and that's it. Now you can play the Star Citizen with the DLSS and DLLA 4.5. Also you have to go in the game and select one more settings which I'm going to show you right now. Once you are in the game, go to the options, graphics. Make sure that you select upscaling transformer and here upscaling technology NVIDIA DLSS or DLLA. And that's it. Upscaling you can select whatever you like, native performance, I don't know, whatever you like. When you update it in the app, it will take press it over that what you put in the here. But it's very important to enable DLSS DLLA and then upscaling to transformer. Now you're good to go. Enjoy Star Citizen with 4.5 DLSS, which improves image dramatically while giving you a better FPS. So here we are in the game. We are now on Checkmate, which is very, very hard on FPS. And so far, game looks really, really nice. And FPS, you, you can see it on the right corner. If not, I'm going to tell you it's 70. Sometimes this counter won't show. So the new NVIDIA DLSS 4.5 is really amazing. It improves quality of pictures in every way. I'm also using DLLA. So that means I'm not using upscaling, just the edges of the everything is made, in, made better. So this is native plus a little bit better anti-aliasing. We still have here some kind of, I don't know, ghosting but that's more of a star citizen problem but overall look at this fps is 54 and here are my settings i'm using everything very high before i was using only high on this laptop it's a 4090 laptop with 12 gen intel processor 
Now I can use very high and have 55 FPS in this part. This was the most hard on my GPU of laptop. Before I would have here around 25 to 35. This is a huge improvement. Stability and quality of the game is improved. Thanks to NVIDIA, we have now even better Star Citizen. I love this. I'm just gonna go in a hangar one more time. On the DLSS 4 I had 65 FPS. I'm gonna call one of my ships there and see what's the FPS right now. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, we have a here a FPS drop to the 30s. I think the biggest problem here is the cooling of my laptop. But still, it's holding up pretty, pretty good. I like it. This is, by the way, with the recording. Recording always takes some FPS from me. And there's a little clippy. Voila. So we still have around 60. Let's see when the lights turn off what will be. But there's no glitching, hipping, <laughs> I don't know, stuttering. It's all good. So, final verdict. The FPS is not that significantly better. It will be much better if you're using performance and ultra performance. But overall, it brings more stability to the game. And I love how everything looks now. Like, this is 100% native but made even better with nvidia upscaling just look at these engines really really nice oh before you just sign off i have to report something my fps in hangar is when i stop recording 75 so over 10 fps gain which is really amazing before i would head like i don't know 65 without recording but recording only 55 and that was on high now i'm using very high so yeah definitely definitely go check out nvidia new upscaling technology it's really worth it so that was it a quick tutorial how to do this if you are interested in this go ahead and download it install it to your pc and have fun with the new upscaling of nvidia if you like my video if you find it helpful don't hesitate to subscribe down there and until next video, have fun out there.